We're at Lely Fields, the brand new crematorium uh, established by the East Riding of Yorkshire Council within the Holiness landscape. A very significant occasion. Uh, as I said, it's the first one uh, the East Riding has ever produced. And it's also been a great privilege not just to open the establishment, but actually meet the staff, the people who actually do the, the work here. Um, what a fantastic joined up crew of people they are too. I'm really looking forward to having a proper look round, but what I've seen so far demonstrates uh, a real attention to detail, uh, a faith in what they're doing, uh, an understanding of the complexity of running a crematorium. It's a, it's a very important day for the East Riding, it's a tremendous investment, but it's not just an investment for the East Riding, it's an investment for the people of Holdenness. What this means is that people who live uh, further away from, say, Octon or from Holton Price, now have a, another facility they can use, not so far to travel, and it's more local, and it reflects our own landscape. What you see here today is, is what my vision was four years ago, so it looks like what it looked like in my head. We did a lot of research to look at what we wanted as well for our re residents, and then um, talking to the architect really around what what should we build and me conveying my vision for the site to the architect and then him putting these plans wonderful plans together i am really really proud proud of everybody involved in the project really because there's been there's been lots of really talented people who have worked hard on this project um, it took us a little while to to sort of get the concepts signed off and agreed and the funding agreed but then it's happened really quickly and um, Everyone has worked so well together and with the contractor, with Kia as well. We've, it's just been a really well managed and you know, just a really collaborative piece of work. It's, it's brilliant and to know that it'll be here in a hundred years time and families across the East Riding will have benefited from having such a wonderful place to come and you know, say goodbye to their loved ones. It's, it is, it's, it, it's quite emotional really. I think that I've been uh, incredibly lucky to, to be able to have a part in this project. Um, these opportunities don't come up very often. We've put a lot of investment into not only the building but the landscaping as well. Uh, over 390 trees on the site, two ponds installed, a memorial walk, um, modern memorial options for people um, and we hope to grow that over time as we learn what our residents would like from the service itself. If we've done a good job, we should be invisible to the public. Um, it's a hard thing for most to understand outside of the industry, but the focus of person's visit here is the memory of their loved one and that final goodbye. Um, so although we will be here and we'll strive to give the best service we can, we should be invisible in doing so. And, and that's, that's a good job, we like that. <laughs>